Hey folks, it's uh, November 1st out here and I'm in uh, Cisco, Texas. And I'm hoping, I started just recently getting some nice bucks showing up on my uh, cameras on some of the food plots and some of the different feeders. And uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'll get lucky enough to get one of them before rifle season starts. Because I swear it seems like those deer go completely nocturnal or they just get shot. Uh, there are some really nice groups of does coming in uh, I think today I might be weak enough that if a nice doe comes in I might have to give her I might have to give it to her so we'll see uh, hopefully in about an hour or two we'll have some video of me shooting a deer
wouldn't have been my ideal shot in most situations, but I didn't want to pass through and hit one of the other deer. Uh, it sounded like she went like 50 yards and crashed, but I'm going to give her about 20 minutes and go check her. Uh, with that shot, I feel pretty confident that I hit some pretty serious arteries. Probably went down and hit the heart as well, so hopefully there's a dead doe about 50 yards that way. Alright folks, so I got that deer. So pretty excited about it. I already tracked her down, but I'm going to take you and uh, let you see the blood trail. Here's the blind where I was at, and this is right about where she was standing, and she ran this direction right here. So you can see I got my first blood. It was right, right there. I don't know if you can see that in the light or not. Let's actually see if we can do this. This might give a better, a little bit better light. So she came through here. See the blood right here. And she came out and I'm trying to find all the drops, but I'm just gonna walk on the trail and show you the highlight points. I don't know if you can see it a little bit on the cactuses or not, or cacti or whatever you call them. She came right through here. And you can really see it on the cactuses here. She ran about, oh, I'd say uh, about 100 yards. She came right through here. And you can kind of see it on the just little drops right here. And some more on the cactuses. And came through here and you can really see it right there up on the tree and over here is where I actually heard her crash I thought this is where she went down I pretty much just walked straight to these trees but she wasn't there but you can see a little bit on the branch and then she ran through here you can see on all on that tree right there now when I got here, I was a little confused. I really expected to find her in this thick clump of trees right here. But she actually ran across, or ran across, right through here. And there's just little drops kind of sporadic. And then she came through. Where was it? Well, I can't remember where exactly where it was, but oh, it's right over here. I don't know if you can see it in there or not, but she, right through here. Came under the fence here. And this was another her crash of her. She actually ran into the tree right here. Kind of makes me feel bad. I always feel a little bad when I shoot an animal. I mean, you did take something's life. And there she lies right there. She's a nice sized doe. I actually hit her higher than I was really anticipating, I think. Maybe once I pull the skin back, I can see where I hit her. I really meant to hit her right about here. 
in that artery, but I guess I just misjudged a little bit. Um, I know some people might say that's not the best angle to take a deer at, but like I said, I really didn't want to get a pass through and hit more than one deer today. So, all in all, I'm pretty happy with her.